try to cut us off. The car did not T-bone him. So that's, <laughs> that's a real-time good... reaction. <laughs> that's a good thing. So, we just lost our GoPro camera. Uh, I guess you can blame me. I thought it would be a cool idea to get some B-roll of the outside of the car. Well, whatever size. Small? Small. 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 Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Rio's Life Today. My family and I are going to be driving to Houston and we're doing so in a nice performance Model 3 that Tess allowed us to use because our Model Y is in the shop getting some LTE connectivity issues sorted out. So the cool thing about this Model 3 Performance Edition is that it also has the most up-to-date version of FSD. So I tried this out last summer. I'm gonna see how far it's come along. I heard they've merged it to a single stack and using neural network. So we're gonna see if it drives a lot better and more fluidly. I'll let you guys know as we're driving to Houston. So for those who don't know, FSD tries to do everything as natural as a normal driver would do. So as you can see, it's trying to match the speed limit of the road that I'm on. If I were to get onto a highway, the speed limit would change. It would also update in real time. And it tries to maintain an optimal level of spacing between your car and the one in front of you. And the big difference between last year's version, when I was on 11 and 12.3 so far, is that it appears that it's just a lot more fluid. So the braking is a lot more gradual. It's not as abrupt as it used to be. The acceleration and matching the speed of the road is also greatly improved. But the main thing that I want to call out that I noticed just within the first 10 minutes of using is that the maneuvering, driving around city streets, as you can see here, uh, is, is much improved than it was last year when I used it. All right, so we're approaching a turn here from this city street onto the highway. This can be a tricky turn for normal drivers as well, because as you can see, there's a lot of highway traffic coming this way. And the thing about the car that I was curious about is, will it have enough vision to see that left side traffic flow to merge onto it as we're going to the right. I don't know if we're gonna to have to intervene here, but let's see if I do or not. Cause it's almost like a blind turn. Cause you can't really see that well, the cars that are coming this way. So it has to approximate when it can take off and make this right turn without jumping over the curb over here at the same time. So let's see, it's making this move. Oh, that's smooth. I'm impressed. And like I mentioned earlier, I tried it out in our Model Y last summer when we drove to Georgia and it was okay, but I had to take over a lot. But as you guys can see just back there, that's a difficult turn for some drivers. And it navigated it pretty smoothly without me having to do anything to it. So, so far I'm impressed, but again, it's very early on, so we'll see how it goes as we get further on off the road east. Now on FSD, you do have to still at least touch the steering wheel from time to time. It's called nagging. So those of you familiar will know that this is not gone anywhere. But again, it's a safety feature. It's the best way Tesla can approximate that you're not doing a stupid shit like sleeping while you're driving the car. So it's a little annoying, still here. But it serves a purpose.
Looks like we got some traffic up ahead. I see some emergency lights. Interesting thing about FSD is that it can recognize emergency lights as they're approaching. It'll typically make your car slow down or in some cases just completely get out of the way of them all together. What, that's a really cool feature I noticed. Try to cut us off. The car did not T-bone. So that's, <laughs> that's a real-time reaction. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Notice I didn't even act as though I was going to intervene because I knew it saw it. And I was 100% right. So weird shit like that happens all the time, right? Cars block in front of you. But to know that the car will actually see that and respond accordingly by slowing down. It didn't stop on the brakes. It just slowed down and let him be a bad driver and get across the road. And now we're driving safely as usual. Car slowed down because it saw those cars trying to go across. Again, that's one little point I'll take off because it didn't need to come to almost a complete stop. Those cars did not have the right of way. There was a flow of traffic they couldn't have really dro driven out into the road. But again, being a little bit cautious is not bad. I'd rather do that as opposed to just blow through and T-bone somebody. So it seems like it's a lot safer than what it was for uh, version 11. But yeah, not not too bad. It's a little bit of a point I'll take off, like I said, but. For the most part, still very smooth. No need for me to intervene. It's not doing anything unsafe. So we just got to the Azteca market and we're gonna see what we can find. All right, Kara, so what do you have? I forgot what, she, what is the, it's not Matate. the bocajete, it's a- Matate. Matate, okay. Oh, is that too big for this? No, that's the right size. Yeah, that's the right size. I don't know. Which 
What you think? Good. It's spicy, sweet, it's good. You wanna try it? It's good. Pequeño de uh, 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 cucumber. Pepino, see. Sí. Is that what this is? Pepino? Pepino y limón. Yeah. 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 What'd you get? Um, pepino agua fresca. Uh -huh. Where's the soy? On oh, this one. Yeah. Where's the this one? Yeah. All right, so we're done with the market, and now we are headed to Cosra. I can never come to Houston and not get Cosmo. So that's what we're doing. So we just lost our GoPro camera. Uh, I guess you can blame me. I thought it would be a cool idea to get some B-roll of the outside of the car. That's stupid idea. I'm being judged by a six-year-old right about now. But, um, yeah, I don't know if the suction that we had to go on top of the car was, that was, supposed to be the right was not the right suction thing. The Why little driving too fast. Mario seems to think we we're driving too fast, but tons of people get B roll, get footage <laughs> with their GoPros outside of the car. So I'm thinking we didn't have the right mechanism. If any content creators, or watching this video please comment below because I feel like we did something completely wrong um, so we stuck it on the top of the car with the suction and it has the clamp and it's made for Go a GoPro and halfway into the drive I look up and the GoPro was gone so I really beat myself up about that I, there was some footage on it, not a lot, because before Mario's Toronto trip, um, I cleaned off the car, the, what is it, SD card? Is that what it's called? Yeah. I cleaned off the SD card of a lot of footage that we already had on it. So, there, there, the only footage that was on it was the Toronto trip, but typically, like, my process is that I always transfer the files to another place anyway, to, um, to our hard drive so we're good in terms of that but no one wants to lose or have their GoPro damage and if you're a content creator you know exactly what I mean I've seen a bunch of folks lose their drones their GoPros their cameras have, are stolen and it's, it's it feels like a, a punch to the gut so that's what insurance is for yeah we do have insurance on it we'll figure out how that works um but yeah Got it turned around. It's amazing. Hey, but put it in, just put a little bit. There you go. Now put the rest on that small part. Put it over there.
taste that is shit. It's so good. There is no way I'll be able to eat half of this. Half, but the fish is just so tender. You like your rice pudding? to go box so right now we're stopping at royal roastery before we get on the road royal roastery is a authentic turkish coffee tea shop they also have a lot of like authentic turkish sweets like baklava and other items um, that i want to grab before we we get on the road mario's a huge fan of baklava so we didn't want to stop him before we got on the road headed back to austin so we'll take you guys inside and we'll be back Lamborghini truck. Okay, it's morning. Let's make the balcony. No more candy, buddy. You're done. So we're headed home now after our brief road trip to Houston. We definitely enjoyed going out to the Royal Roastery and I always love going to Cosver. So anytime I come to Houston, I am making it a point to stop at Cosver. Took my wife and Kohan in to have a, a meal and they also enjoyed it. But yeah, FSG has been really, really impressive. I haven't had to have any serious interventions at all. I can't even think of one time where it didn't do what I would have done. So definitely give it two thumbs up and it's definitely worth purchasing or at least subscribing to it. I know $200 a month is kind of steep for some folks, but as crazy as that sounds, I think it's worth it. But yeah, we'll see you folks later. Bye.